And we're back with part two of this Inkscape Dinosaur Graphic Tutorial. So, in part one, you created what you see here on screen. Uh, let's move on. Alright, so for part two, we're going to be creating the body and the eyebrow. So let's go and make this eyebrow. We start off with a rounded edge rectangle. So click on your rectangle tool. Click and drag a rectangle. Let's make the corners a little bit more um, sharp. We're going to click on path, object to path, and then click on the node selector. Here is where we'll actually grab the two nodes here and bring them down just like that. Okay, if you missed it. We click, we make, well, first off, make sure it's path, object to path. Click on node editor. Click and drag across both nodes. And then just click and drag down on one of them. All right, so let's click on and see what we made. We're going to make that a, a green color. Let's scroll and find the greens. Put that right on top. Okay, so this is actually snapping to things. This is node. This, something is snapping here, so I'm going to go to the right. And click on that and turn that off. Um, the color is a little bit too close to this color, so I'm going to make it a little darker. And then we're going to make this highlight that you see here. So I'm going to double uh, duplicate that. Make it a lighter green. And with the node editor, I'm going to grab, oops, let's move it out of the way. Okay. All right, so we're going to make a rectangle, and we're going to make it look like it's angled here. So I guess we're just going to grab that center. Let's move these nodes a little bit. Okay, and then that's going to be rotated a bit and smaller on the inside here. Just like that. Okay. All right, so it says the body starts as a circle, and then we're going to convert it and make it look like this. So click on the circle tool. Drag out a body shape and then click on path, object to path. Click on your node editor. And I believe we click on this one. Let's see what's it saying. Nope, we're going to click on this one. Okay, it might be a little hard to see, so let me let's zoom in a bit. So I'm click on the node. Zoom out. And then it says we're going to grab this guy right here and bring it down, just like so. Okay. So, yeah. That's kind of big, so let's make that a little shorter. All right, step nine, we're going to duplicate it and change the color and add a gradient. So I right clicked on that and uh, duplicated it or press control D, make it a light color and shrink it a bit. So it fits right here and it says it wants a gradient. So we're going to click on gradient tool. I'm going to make that a lighter one and this one a darker one. So some things I'm showing right now, be sure you already know how to do uh, based off of the last gradient lesson and uh, some of the graphics that we've already created. Oh, and I see we're going to duplicate the spikes that we created for the head. So using the selector tool, 
going to duplicate the spikes here and I'm going to make them smaller and rotate them. Set them to the back. And we're making spikes. Um, it looks like these spikes are going to be the same color as the body. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, let me show you how to make that the same color. Okay. So select select the spike. Um, we're going to find this tool right here. It says pick colors from any image. Click on that. Then click on your body. And it should have changed it. Yep. There we go. I'm going to delete this one. So just click it. Press delete on the keyboard. I'm going to change the spike shape a bit. Make it a little more pointy. So he's got a few spikes. I'm going to make the body a little chubby over here too. All right, and then we have some highlights. Um, I'm just going to remake some highlights here using the circle tool. Um, just make some ovals, little ovals. Fit them in. Duplicate them. Okay, we want the body underneath the head. It's starting to look like a dinosaur. All right, it says we're going to do step 10. We're going to create circles and make the feet. Okay, so make a circle, path, object to path. Click on your node editor, and we're going to bring this one up and this one up I like that color that it defaulted to alright so we're gonna leave that there duplicating that I'm gonna put that right here and then I'm gonna click on this one send to back um, let's add a gradient to this one so we're gonna add a gradient this top color is going to be a light green. This bottom one is going to be a darker green. And do the same thing with this one. And then we're going to duplicate um, that same shape for the uh, T the dinosaur nails are essentially the claws the claw okay so I'm duplicating that shape resize it to make it smaller and I'm gonna find I like this color right here so don't forget you have tons of colors here to scroll through so find the one that is best for you and again you can make this dinosaur whatever colors you want there is nothing wrong with a little color I'm just following the tutorial and adjusting things here and there because this is my dinosaur and I want him to be this color. Ooh, all right, so step 11, we're going to make these arms. Um, we're not going to make these shapes. I'm going to show you a different way. So start with an oval like that an oval like that okay we're going to select both of these at the same time you can hold down shift and click on both or just click and drag across both and then go to path union that makes that one shape and click on it and rotate it and then we're going to make this shape right here using a little rectangle Okay, so we're going to make this 
let's move this over. Path, object to path, node editor, bring these two guys up. Okay, now you can move this on top. Select both of these shapes, path, union. The union um, combines them into one shape, just like that. Okay, and then that's your arm, that's one of your arms. Make them buff if you want. And that gets a gradient. So it's going to go from uh, a light color to a dark color. Um, and then we can add the claws, the hands here. So those are just little triangular shapes. You can start off with a little circle again, path, object to path. Okay, make those shapes. Make one, you just need to make one, make it small. Okay, so that one's going to be like a dark green, or this green right here. So there's one, two, three. So one, duplicate, two. Let's uh, rotate it. Three. And then duplicate each one of those, resize it, and make it that light nail color, and then just duplicate that. Okay, so you're not, you're not seeing me right click because I'm just using the keyboard. I'm pressing Control D. Um, another trick, if you hold down control and use the wheel, mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Okay, um, so I'm going to select those three and the arm. I uh, held down shift. And I'm actually going to group these. So I'm going to press control G or I can just right click group. Okay, so control D will duplicate. And I'm going to send that to the back using this button right here. And are we, oh, we're done. We have finished. Well, not really. Um, the main dinosaur is done. What I would love, absolutely love to see, is you use all of the skills that you just learned and create a full scene. So make grass, make the shadow underneath, make some trees, um, get a nice gradient in the sky, in the background, like you see it like here. You can even gradient the grass blades, okay? So I'll just really quickly demonstrate grass blades. So using your pen tool, just click, 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 make a triangle, click the node editor, and you're going to grab uh, these two long lines and just curve them and put them down here somewhere. Make them all and just duplicate. And you can even use this button right here to flip them around. And, you know, make a scene. Make a scene. Make the Put the dinosaur in something. Give him some glasses. Make him make, put some birds in the sky. Let's see what you can come up with. You have tons of skills now. Okay, so have fun with this graphic, and I'm looking forward to seeing your dinosaurs.